So in this video, this is a quick look of Kubuntu 24.10 Beta Edition. So I'm going to be installing this in a virtual machine. So here you have to select your language. This is the internet connection. I'll click install Kubuntu. I'll click next. This is the location. This is correct. I'll click next. This is the keyboard layout. So this is the installation mode. It is full installation, normal and minimal. I'm going to select full installation. This is additional options. I'll select that, download and install updates following installation. So install additional third party packages. These are all checked. I'll click next. I'm going to select erase disk and I'm going to leave it as swap to file. I'm going to select BTRFS. I'll click next. I'll create an account. I'll type the password. So I'll leave this unchecked, log in automatically without asking for password. This is a summary of the choices. I'll click install. So installation is complete. I'm going to restart. So on the lower left, there's a virtual keyboard and desktop session. So the default is VLAN and this can be switched to X11. I'm going to leave it as VLAN. This is the welcome center. I'm just going to browse through it. So this is the application launcher. This is favorites. This is all applications. This is development. This is games. This is graphics. This is internet. This is multimedia. This is office. So LibreOffice is installed by default. This is science and math. This is settings. This is system. This is utilities. So on the panel, this is the system settings and they are separated by categories, input and output. This is connected devices. This is Bluetooth, disk and cameras. This is Thunderbolt. This is KDE Connect. This is printers. So under networking, there's Wi-Fi and internet. This is firewall. This is proxy. This is connection preferences. Under appearance and style, this is wallpaper. So these are some of the wallpapers.
This is Colors and Themes. I'm going to select Dark Theme. This is Colors. I'll leave it as green. This is Night Light. This is Application Style. This is Plasma Style. Window Decorations. This is System Sounds. Splash Screen. So here you can change the login screen. And this is Boot Splash Screen. This is Text and Fonts. So under Apps and Windows, this is Default Applications. Notifications, Window Management. This is Activities. So under Workspace, there's General Behavior. Select. So under security and privacy, this is screen locking. Application permissions. KDE wallet, recent files. And the language and time, there's region and language. This is spell check. This is date and time settings. So on the system, there's about this system. So the kernel version is 6.11. So the plasma version is 6.1.5. This is driver manager. This is power management. This is software update. Africon users. Auto start and this is session. So this is the Discover Software Center. And these are all listed by categories. You can also search for apps here. These are all the installed apps. You can also remove them by just clicking on the trash icon. This is the updates. I'll click update all. This is settings. And there's firmware updates and snap. So this is all applications. And you can download any one of these. Accessibility. Accessories. Developer tools. This is education. Games. So there are more categories under games. So this is the Dolphin File Manager. So I'll open the pictures folder. I have some pictures here.
I'll open the documents folder. I have a PDF document here. So Firefox is installed and this is the version of Firefox that is installed. So this is the remote desktop client, KRDC. This is Gwenview, an image viewer. This is text info. This is the KDE partition manager. This is the Aruna Media Player. I'll open the startup disk creator. This is the remote viewer and you just have to type the address here. So I'm going to run an update, I'll type sudo apt update. So I'll see if nano is installed. So nano is installed. So I'll see if VLC media player is installed. So VLC is not installed, I'll install it. I'll type sudo app install VLC. I'll open VLC player. So I'm going to type this command to get a list of installed packages. I'll type sudo app dash dash installed list. I'm going to install Inkscape. I'll type sudo app install Inkscape. So Inkscape was installed. So I'm going to enable the cube feature. I'll open system settings. So on the left side, I'm going to scroll down. I'll click on Windows Management. So I'll click on Virtual Desktops. So there's only one virtual desktop. So I'm going to add five more. So the six virtual desktops are here on the panel. So I'm going to click on Desktop Effects. I'm going to scroll down until I see Windows Management. So under Windows Management, this is Cube. I'm going to select the checkbox, click Apply. So the Cube feature is enabled. So on some of the virtual desktops, I'm going to open Firefox in one virtual desktop. On the second virtual desktop, I'm going to open the Settings app. 
on the third virtual desktop, I'll open the files manager. On the fourth virtual desktop, I'll open the software app. So I'm using a Windows keyboard and to show the cube feature on the keyboard, I'm going to hold the Windows key and the C key. And to get out of this, just hit the escape key on the keyboard. So I'll right click the panel. And I can add widgets. I can also get new widgets. I'll click on show panel configuration. And these are the panel settings here. There's position alignment with visibility, opacity, and style. You can change the position of the panel on the screen, for example, click on position and these arrows show up. Say if I want to show the panel on the left, I just have to click the left arrow. I'll show the panel on the right. And also on the top, I'm going to leave it at the bottom. I can also change the panel height. So on the lower right side, this is the time and date settings. This is status and notifications. This is the network icon. This is disk and devices. This is the audio volume settings. And this icon is the input method. I can click configure. And I can change the input method here. So in this video, I installed Kubuntu 24.10. And this is the beta edition. So the kernel version is 6.11.0. So the desktop environment is Plasma 6.1.5. So I want to thank you for watching and I thank you for subscribing.